Sige. So, um, now that we're done with this um, um, introductory remarks, let's recall the idea of conservative forces. Again, remember, uh, when we say uh, conservative forces, it's path independent. That is, if you have a particle um, and a conservative force is applied to that particle and that particle moves from one position to another and it goes back to the original position, that conservative force um, uh, will give you zero. So, the work done by that conservative force is zero. So, Oh, balikan lang natin yon. So again, um, it turns out that um, for a conservative force, uh, you can always create a potential energy function u. Yun yung isa sa mga magiging consequence niya. If um if u is a potential energy, uh, that's only defined for a conservative force. You cannot define a potential energy for a non-conservative force. Hindi yan magmake sense. Kasi potential energies are state dependent. Ibig sabihin nakadepende lang siya sa initial at sa final states. Remember that? So for example, your U equals mgy. Um, again, your gravitational force is conservative. Ibig sabihin nun, um, it is only dependent on some initial and final state. Hindi siya nakadepende kung paano ka pumunta from this initial state A to this final state B. Kahit ganyan-ganyan yung direction yan, kahit diretso lang na ganyan, kahit dumagang babalik ka dyan, it doesn't matter. It's only dependent on the initial and terminal conditions of the system. That's how conservative forces work. And therefore, um, you can define a potential energy that is independent of the path taken of the, by the particle. Kasi kung path dependent yan, walang kwenta yung potential, potential na makakreate mo. In fact, hindi yan potential. Okay? Malinaw ba to? Malinaw yung idea na yon. Again, for a conservative yes, force, sir. the work is negative of the change in the potential energy of a particle. Okay, or of a system. So in 1D, the work is also be given. Assuming that the forces are constant, we're dealing, um, in this course, we are dealing with constant forces muna. Di muna natin masyadong pinagtitingnan yung varying forces. Um, so the work done is given by just the product of the force times the displacement. So assuming that, um, in general, this force here is actually an integral. Integral yan, f of x dx. Because um, we are determining the force applied on the position. Okay, one important note. Um, the force here is position dependent. Okay, for energy, we are only considering forces that are explicitly dependent on position. Of course, ang position may implicit dependence sa time yan usually. Kaya ka nga may kinematic equations eh. However, we do not want a force that's explicitly dependent on time. Kumbaga, ang itsura niya ngayon is force as x, as e, ganyan. Pero wala kang makikita ang t-terms dun sa force expression. Okay? So for example, u equals mgy. Hindi mo naman nakita yung time dyan sa y. <laughs> Pero yung y, possibly dependent siya sa time in general. Okay? Malinaw? Malinaw yung distinction na yun? Yes. Malinaw po. Malinaw? Okay. Now what's the difference? Pagdating niya sa momentum, when we go to chapter 8, which is the next topic, like lecture 17 and onwards, um, forces now will depend on time. Okay, yun yung difference. Yun yung magkaibang note yun. In energies, you are dealing with forces that vary in position. In momentum, we're dealing with forces that fun that uh, vary with time. Okay, clear? Clear yun? Questions? Are there any Not questions? So far. Not so far. Okay, so... Oh, Okay, so wait lang. Um, okay, clear. Thank you. Um, so in that case, the question now is how is the conservative force and potential related? So, so mapapansin mo, since they're dealing with the same expression, which is the work, uh, baka may relationship between delta u mech and f of x delta x. And madaling makita yan. So if assuming that we are, we are dealing with approximately constant forces, then f of x delta x is equal to minus delta u. And therefore, f of x is of just minus delta u minus delta over delta x. So, ganyan yung itsura niya. So, it, it just means that um, approximately, again, this is just an approximation. There is a more exact expression. Force is just the change in potential energy per distance. So, pwede mong isipan ganon. Okay? Now, a more general expression is this. If force is now a function, then the force is the negative derivative of um, the potential energy per distance. So again, again, we're dealing with displacements or positions here. X, not time. Hindi yan DUDT. Hindi yan time dependence. That's position dependence. Okay? Clear? Clear tayo dito? Again, the force in one dimension is just the negative of the position derivative of the potential energy. So, you can interpret it. So, kung halimbawa magpa-plot ako ngayon ng potential energy, so I can do that. I can always do that. If I can plot the potential energy function, then, ano ibig sabihin ngayon ng force? What does this mean? 
anong masasabi natin kay force? Since derivative na to, this is now x as a fun- um u as a function of x. If I can plot it, ano masasabi natin ngayon kay force? Saan siya related? Saan siya related? Di ba pwede mong isipin slope lang yan? <laughs> so, kung naalala nyo si velocity time, ay si position time, x, t. So, velocity, ay position time. The velocity is the slope of the tangent line. Now, the force there is, yes, it is still related to the slope of the potential energy as a function of displacement. However, you need a negative sign. Yun yung, yun yung difference. Sa x, t, velocity lang yan. Ang slope ay velocity. Sa f and u, may negative sign. Do not forget the negative sign. It will be important later. Okay. Do not forget that negative sign. So yeah, it's the slope of the tangent line of the pos- of the potential energy function. That's the force. Okay. Now, so again, for a conservative, the conservative force is the negative slope of the tangent line of the potential versus position plot. That is that's our idea. Okay. Malinaw, malinaw to. Is this clear? The, pot- the conservative force yes, is negative slope of the tangent line of the potential energy versus position plot. So, ngayon, of course, ang tanong nyo, eh, di ba sir, ang force, for, uh, ang force ay vector? Of course, potential energy is still a scalar. However, force is a vector. Di ba? So, dapat meron kang components sa i hat, j hat, and k hat. Di ba? Naalala nyo yon. Of course, <laughs> doon sa mga magpa-preliminary assessment pa lang, alam nyo yan, dapat. <laughs> so, Ngayon, ang tanong dito, eh, okay, okay, so paano naman, paano pag three dimensions? Kasi pag one, di simple lang, kasi mawawala lang naman yung vector nature ng force na dyan. In three dimensions, it turns out that there is a special expression for that. That is, F is, ang tawag dito sa triangle na baliktad na to ay del. Or, in other words, it's nabla, it's your nabla operator, or del operator. Or, um you will see this in your math 23, it's the gradient operator. Basically, hindi ko di-discuss yung gradient. At sinasabi ko lang kung ano siya in 3D. Yung gradient operator, ang sinasabi lang yan, para mong, siyang, para mong ginagawang vector yung isang scalar, tapos dinidifferentiate mo siya. Okay? Para siyang, para siyang vector derivative in a way. Again, in a nutshell. <laughs> There's more to that. Again, the gradient is, in a way, the vector uh, the vector analog of your of your derivative. It's actually a derivative. But however, you are now including... Um, unit vectors. Okay? So, yeah, hindi natin masyadong gagamitin ang, ang gradient operator. But, again, this is just um, two for one dimension. For two or more dimensions, you need to use a gradient. Okay? Malinaw? Malinaw po siya. Malinaw? I hope that's clear. Ngayon, oh, eto na nga. Edi, may potential energy function na tayo. Ano naman gagawin? Ano, ano naman ngayon, di ba? So, what? Okay. So, as an example, um, kung balikan natin si graphical analysis, uh, para lang ma-appreciate yung nangyayari. So, and in one day, remember your velocity is just the de- derivative of your position. So, ibig sabihin when you plot the position time function of a particle, the velocity is just slope of the tangent line. Now, so, ang mangyayari dyan ngayon, so, meron kang position time, di ba? So, this is x, t. Pag nag-drawing ka ng ta- slope of the tangent line, yung value ng slope na yon, value, not the, not the sign, I, not the direction of the slope, the value of the slope is the velocity. Kung, so, ibig sabihin, kung increasing yan, positive ang velocity. Um, kung ang slope mo ay pababa, negative ang velocity. Naalala, kung naalala nyo yun. However, for potential energy as a function of position, magiging baliktad yung signs mo. Ayan, like for example, if this is x and this is u, I draw a potential energy that uh, as a function of displacement there. Halimbawa, naghanap ako ng slope. Oh, ganyan. Halimbawa, this is the the this is the slope of the tangent line. Dito, positive ang slope, right? Positive ang slope. And hindi maganda na dyan yan. Lang, draw, baligan, panig, paritan ko yung drawing ko. Ganyan na lang. Tapos, dito na lang siya. Tapos, yan. Okay. Nakikita? Yan, ganyan na lang siya. Okay, so this, what can you say about the slope of the, of the at this point? What can you say about the slope of the potential energy at this point? Ano masasabi natin? That should be negative, correct? But so therefore, what can you say about the force? Is it positive or negative? Is it positive or negative? Dapat siya na ay positive, correct? Dapat siya na positive because of our equation that is u is negative d dx of the potential energy. Okay? Wag makakali, wag malilimutan yung negative sign. Importante yan when we graph. Okay, so again, for potential energy, you affix a negative sign. Ito lang naman kailangan natin gamitin for now. Okay, questions? May tanong pa ba? May tanong pa? 
Are there any questions in this idea? None so far. So far. Okay, sige. Okay, so as I said, there is a relationship now between force and potential energy. Marami ka na makukuha dyan quantities. Um, so for example, when we go to gravitational potential energy, uh, of course, ang tanong natin ngayon ay tama ba yan dun sa mga given na potential energies natin? Remember that U equals MGY. And then when we take the negative sign of, uh, when we take the derivative with respect to the position, which is Y, we get something like an F equals um, negative MG, right? So this is equal to minus MG. Which is uh which is correct in a way kasi pwede mong isipin na yung force ay um in this case ang convention dito ay positive upward and therefore the force is downward therefore negative okay may convention na in apply diyan kaya um kaya mgy is y is positive height kasi yan height that's why it's now negative mg now same thing with elastic potential energy again for elastic potential energy the um, the energy is 1 of kx squared. When you differentiate with respect to x, it's now equal to negative kx, which is the force due to a spring. And this negative sign here indicates the um, the indicates the idea that it is a restoring force. Kailangan bumabalik siya kay equilibrium. Diba? Ito yung mga pinagsabi natin a, a few sessions ago, which is on um, elastic potential energy and gravitational potential energy. In other words, our equation for force as a function of position, which is just the derivative of the potential energy function, they are consistent with the gravitational potential energy and elastic potential energy, which are our examples for um from the previous uh, discussions. Okay, so sinasabi lang nito, tama yung expression natin kay force uh, as of, uh, in terms of potential energy. Derivative lang siya. Okay, malinaw? Malinaw tayo dito? Is this clear? Clear. Okay, clear naman. So, in that case, the potential energy decreases as y, in, uh, as y decreases. Kasi, syempre, lumalapit ka kay, kay Earth surface, in that case, lumalapit ka kay Earth center, mas lumiliit yung potential energy mo. That's why, um, therefore, uh, for all y, the force is less than zero. Force pushes body towards decreasing y. So, pwede mong isipin, um, syempre, ang tanong mo, eh, ba't nakilang may negative sign? That's the more physical, um, there's a more physical interpretation. So, for example, you have a cliff and you have a ball. Ito, classic to. Um, saan dito yung, uh, kapag halimbawa nirelease mo yung ball, saan ang direction ng bola? Pataas, pababa? Pataas o pababa yung bola? Syempre, dapat, dapat siya ay, dapat siya ay uh, saan? Saan ang direction niya? Of course, it should be downward. Baga, matakot ka pag lumutang yan, di ba? So, uh, so, it should be downward. Therefore, um, there should, since this is downward, what will happen? Ang mangyayari ay saan nga yung papunta yung... Um, if this is some height h, so saan pumunta yung, part, yung object? Sa higher potential ba? Uh, higher potential energy ba? O sa lower potential energy? Saan siya pumunta? Of course, it should be from higher to lower potential energy. Therefore, ang natural tendency ng force ay pumunta. So, the direction of the force is what? Sige, yun muna pala. Ano, saan yung direction ng force? Downward or upward? Saan yung direction ng force mo? It should be, of course, downward. Kasi mg yan, di ba? Force, ay, wait lang, ulit. Sandali, sandali. Di ba? Downward yan, mg. Right? It's the direction of the weight. Therefore, ang gusto lang sabihin ng equation na F equals minus du dx ay um, an object will go from the direction of higher potential energy towards the direction of lower potential energy. Kasi, nag kasi nagkakaroon ka ng energy conversion, nagiging kinetic energy yung, object, yung, yung particle mo. Okay? Again, it's from area of higher potential energy to area of low, lower potential energy. That's why there is a negative sign. Kaya may negative sign ka. Okay, that's the physical manifestation. Bakit may negative sign yung U equals, ay yung, yung force at saka um, potential energy relationship? Kasi gusto ng object na pumunta from higher to lower potential energy. Gets? Gets yun yung nangyayari? Kaya nga siya potential energy eh. May potential na makonvert. <laughs> Kaya siya potential energy. Or energy due to, due to configuration. Okay? Malinaw? Malinaw yon. Yes? Malinaw po. Okay, I hope that's clear. Now, 
Another example is on elastic potential energy. Ganon din yung idea. So, for example, if you have a spring, alam ba, may spring ka dyan. Spring. Tapos may box. So, yung object, yung box na yan, kapag hinila mo siya ng malaking-malaking force, ano yung tendency ng object? Tapos nirelease mo. Saan, saan papunta yung object? Saan siya papunta? Dapat, ma- papunta siya sa area or sa equilibrium position. So, ang tendency niya ngayon is going from a higher potential energy towards the lowest potential energy, which is your equilibrium position. Remember, hindi nagkakaroon ng negative sa elastic potential energy. Laging positive yan. <laughs> Kasi X squared eh. X squared. So, alang alang yung K mo negative, di ba? Unphysical yon. So, in that case, the lowest possible energy that this um spring mass system can hold is at x equals zero, which is at the equilibrium position. And in that case, uh, papunta siya from high, an area of higher potential energy, which is the edge of the spring. Pag hinila mo yung spring mo, malakas malakas yung force, malaki yung potential energy. Pag di-release mo ngayon, papunta siya sa, sa uh, equilibrium position, nag-zero ngayon si, um, potential, uh, si potential energy and also si force. Okay? Malinaw. Kaya ang tendency ni potential en- ni spring mass is maging restoring because again force will go the direction of the force is always towards an area of lower potential energy. Okay. Questions. May tanong ba? May tanong rito. Are there any questions for this topic? None. Okay, sige. So again, so um at the right side of the equation, the slope of the um of the Potential energy function is negative. Pero once that, syempre, remember, may negative sign pa. So kung negative man yung slope dito, magpa-positive yan. Therefore, you have a positive direction here. On the other hand, dito, positive yung direction ng slope mo. When you go construct the slope of the tangent line or when you construct the tangent line, positive yan. Dito, nag-negative kasi you have a negative sign that you need to affix. So wag malilito doon. May negative sign lagi. Okay, so again, in that case, positive and increasing. And... Yun, yun yung pag-uusapan natin for that session. So, again, just to recall, the force and potential energy, force is just the negative of the potential energy as a function of displacement, not of, as a function of time. Malinaw? Malinaw yon. Do not forget that. May negative sign. <laughs> okay. Questions? Are there any questions? May tanong? Wala? Okay. Mukha namang wala. 